my favorite deadbeat dad story. Okay, so basically, a modest CEO, Gangnam, just popped to the shop quickly, leaving his five kids at home while he went to get some milk. Should I go get the milk? Go get the milk. He's still not returned. I repeat, he has still not returned. Kangnam is such a deadbeat. After doing interview upon interview saying one pack was like his children and the money for them had come out of his own pocket, just like a father giving allowance to his child, he leaves by letting us know it was a mere collaboration between himself and one pack. A collaboration, a collaboration from Kangnam the fucking YouTuber, a collaboration. So who the hell is running Omada? Who the hell is in charge of One Pact? Who has the fate of our boys in their hands? Like literally, what the fuck is going on? What is going on here? What the hell is going on here? Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Abby. If you're new here, I normally do reaction content, but I want to do more. So today I'm starting a series called Hyperfixation Station. I just wanted a place where I could yap about a topic that my neurodivergent brain is currently fixated on because like I literally have nowhere to get this shit out. I'm not trying to annoy my friends with shit about K-pop, like please, please. Anyways, the series will most likely be K-pop related, but I may branch out in the future because I do have lots of shit I want to yap about, trust me. So today's topic, that dookie statement that Amada dropped on May 21st, which funnily enough was their second dog shit statement of the month. I have to give them a round of applause for managing to release two steaming piles of stink in one month. Stink, 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 stink. The first being their statement about Jay Chang's absence from One Pack's first comeback. From One Pack's first comeback. His first fucking comeback. The group's first fucking comeback and the main vocal is not there. Also, we literally had to beg, scream, kick and fucking plead for a fucking statement about it because they just randomly dropped a photo of four of them and was like, oh, oh Jay's not here. Anyways, I'll make a video on this too, so stay tuned. Clearly, you can tell I have a lot to yap about that. I'm heartbroken and ironically that Jay will miss his group's first fucking comeback. But anyways, I really wanted to jump Kangnam a little bit. So let's go. <laughs> And in case you're missing it, Kangnam is a deadbeat. I repeat, Kangnam is a deadbeat. That should never say more life. life. Meet the <laughs> grams. Okay, so the statement reads as follows. Hello, this is Amada. We would like to inform you about the collaboration between One Pact and Gangnam. Collaboration. The collaboration. One Pact and Gangnam had agreed to work together until the debut project. And as of January 2024, this was posted on May, but we'll continue. And as of January 2024, the promise period ended and the collaboration ended by mutual agreement. We would like to express our deepest gratitude to the fans who have shown us a lot of love and interest. And we ask for your continued support of One Pact and Gangnam's respective activities. Thank you. Okay, so first of all, fuck Gangnam's respective activities. Like, who the fuck cares? What's his respective activities? Like, next. Next. Also, agreed to work together until debut project and as of January, it is now May. It is now May. We're five months later, what is going on here? What is going on? Why are you telling us five months later? This is why I, my theory is that he was getting beat up. He was getting dragged. I know he was getting dragged. I haven't seen it personally. I can just tell that he was getting dragged for Jay not being in the comeback and the whole mismanagement of Jay not being in this fucking comeback. And so there was like, hey, let's release a statement and let them know that I'm not here anymore. This shit is crazy, guys, though. Uh -huh. This is a crazy. I have not known peace since I stand Jay Chang. Like literally, I have not known peace since I started watching Boys Planet. F you Boys Planet and actually f you Vicky, Vicky, whatever the f that fucking streaming service is, is the reason why I even watched Boys Planet in the first place. This is why I'm in this mess. Jay, let me out. Let me out. Yo! Let's look at these articles because guys, I have been researching about how One Pact was formed and literally my jaw dropped because he has so many interviews upon interviews of him bum licking. <sighs> Like even this, this is where he talks about how he even met Jongwoo and how it even came to be. There is a member in One Pack named Jongwoo. After Boy's Planet ended, we happened to meet at a gathering and Jongwoo said, I want to stand on stage, but it's a shame I don't have many opportunities. I saw Jongwoo dance and he danced really well. I happened to run a company that hosts performances, so I had the opportunity to have Jongwoo on stage. Then he held Jongwoo's fan meeting in Japan with Jay Chang. Hey, mommy. Thank you because it was so successful, they apparently expressed their trust in Gangnam, which <laughs> we'll get into that. <laughs> Jay just started laughing <laughs> and he said no, <laughs> and it was Jeff. Look at his face and said, I want to form a team together and Gangnam readily accepted, which we know this is bullshit because there's been so many things about Jay had to be like begged to be even in this. So it's just so annoying. There's so much conflicting information about how this group even came to be. It's really 
fucking irritating. Honestly, it's really irritating. If we go down more, it says, Jong Yoo chose the one pack members as the friends he wanted. Of course, I had the power to make the decision. So why would you even involved in the decision if it was just a collaboration he was gonna leave anyway? Like shit is so weird. And I remember there was another interview where he was talking about his wife was like, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Currently, all costs for the company are paid with my own money. To be honest, it's a bit scary, but I feel free to spend money. When I first told my wife that I was going to produce an idol group, she supported me and said, do what you want to do. The only thing that was said was don't touch my money. My wife and I are saving money separately. So even if I go bankrupt, my wife's money remains the same. But it's just a collaboration. Oh, look at my baby. Oh <laughs> my God. Uh, I miss you. I can't. Get out. Anyways, then look at this. One pack contains my blood, sweat, tears, and everything I live for collaboration. I'm preparing to risk my life for a collaboration. Even if I don't get the results I want, my money will just be wasted for a collaboration. All you have to do is make money again for a collaboration. I hope one pack becomes a group loved by many people. I am the many people they already love so much, but as you can see, Gangnam just yaps, 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 yaps away. He just talks shit. That's all he does is talk shit. What do you mean one pack contains your blood, sweat, and tears, and everything I live? And then, zoop, then zoop. One pack and Gangnam agreed to work together until debut, and as January, we have ended. Blood, sweat, tears, and to the debut project. I'm preparing to risk my life. The promise period ended. <laughs> Anyway, so enough of that bollocks. <sighs> Anyways, being a one pack fan, an Anhart, a hearty, it's really stressful. Like it's so stressful. <laughs> Once again, K-pop is meant to be fun. I'm here for escapism. I've not escaped nothing. But that's why I'm on YouTube yapping about it. Okay, thank you so much for watching because I was listening to this video. Let me know your thoughts down below on this crazy fucking situation. Don't forget that one pack is coming back with a first <laughs> without Jay. <laughs> I'll talk about it in another video, but seriously, it's fucked up. Anyways, don't forget to support them. I'm supporting them because I do love One Pack, even if Jay's not in this fucking comeback. I'll also be supporting BDU, Boys of the Fine Universe. I'll do, I'll support fucking anything Jay's in. I fucking will. Right, let me know what you guys thought about this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. See you later.